Hey guys, welcome back to Any Sport. Today, we're talking about the greatest comebacks in NFL history. Let's get right into it. Ad number one, surprising Super Bowl performance. With 6.29 left in the third quarter, Atlanta led 28-3 after quarterback Matt Ryan fired a six-yard touchdown throw to running back Tevin Coleman. The Falcons appeared to be on their way to a big win. With 8.31 remaining in the game, the Falcons were still leading 28-12 when they lost the ball back to New England, and everything changed. The Patriots nodded the game with two touchdowns and two successful two-point conversions in the final six minutes of regulation, thanks in part to a spectacular catch by wide receiver Julian Edelman. New England won in overtime on a touchdown run by James White. At number two, the revival. Houston had a 35-3 lead early in the third quarter, 35 points to three. Then Buffalo quarterback Frank Reich went on a tear, leading the largest comeback in NFL history with four second-half touchdown passes. In overtime, the Bills prevailed on a field goal. The fact that Reich was Buffalo's backup quarterback adds to the awe-inspiring nature of this contest. He was only on the field because starter Jim Kelly had injured his knee a week before. But what makes this game even more incredible is that Reich was also the leader of the biggest comeback in college football history. Reich came off the bench as a backup at the University of Maryland when his team lost 31-3 to the University of Miami. Maryland, though, rallied to win the game 42-40. At number three, as fate would have it. When the Colts trailed Kansas City 38-10 in the third quarter, things were not looking good. Andrew Luck, the young quarterback, had never won a playoff game before, and he wasn't faring well in this one. When running back Donald Brown mishandled the ball near the end zone, it bounced off a player's helmet and directly into the arms of Luck, who surged forward for a short touchdown run. Luck fired three touchdown passes in the second half, including a 64-yarder to receiver T.Y. Hilton with less than five minutes remaining that proved decisive. At number four, Joe Cool. At the half, the Saints led 35-7. Isn't the game over? Wrong. In only a second NFL season, a quarterback named Joe Montana led the 49ers to the greatest comeback in regular season history. Montana started the comeback with a one-yard rush, a 71-yard touchdown pass, and a 14-yard touchdown pass. San Francisco tied the game on a running touchdown by Lenville Elliott before winning in overtime on a field goal. Montana led his team to 31 fourth quarter comebacks in 16 NFL seasons. At number five, outstanding finish. Buffalo didn't wait until the second half to start its comeback this time. Following a 26 to nothing deficit in the second quarter, the Bills scored 10 points before the half to regain some momentum. The second half was really insane. Buffalo took a 37-29 lead after quarterback Todd Collins fired two touchdown passes and running back Antoine Smith scored twice. But Indianapolis refused to give up. The Colts scored a touchdown with 14 seconds remaining in the game, but they were unable to convert on a two-point conversion, which would have tied the game. Even so, the game wasn't over. After recovering an onside kick, the Colts had two deep desperation passes go incomplete. Ad number six, better late than never, right? The Cardinals' comeback from a 28-3 deficit was not only the largest in NFL history, but it was the fastest. St. Louis scored 28 points in the fourth quarter alone. Their quarterback threw three touchdown passes, and the Cardinals recovered a fumble and returned at 23 yards for a touchdown to save St. Louis from defeat. Tampa Bay nearly forced overtime, but a 53-yard field goal as time expired was missed. By NFL standards, there were just 22,000 fans in attendance for this game. This was due to the fact that everyone was aware that the team was set to leave town. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to any sport, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.